Hello Axi Nation, in this video we are looking at the Season 20 balance changes that just launched a few hours ago and I'm going to show you which are the best new cards to look at, which cards received the biggest debuffs and also a few other things, so stay tuned for that. But before we get into that, let's take a look at how the new balance change system will work because Sky Mavis actually really did listen to the community and tried to implement changes the right way. For example, this time the balance change actually happens before Season 20 starts so that if there is something that is unbalanced and just really too strong, then they have time to fix that. And just note that they did say they will implement hot fixes before the actual launch of Season 20 to ensure that this happens. So, just keep mindful of that. Don't try to buy everything extreme that you think is really, really good right now because it might get nerfed before the season starts, okay? Also, this was the first balance change where they actually took community feedback to help them do the balance change, which is a fantastic step towards that DAO, towards becoming a really community-led project. Kudos to Axie, well done on doing that. And lastly, before I jump into the actual balance changes, just note that they're targeting to release season 20 in two weeks time. So we have two weeks to test out new abilities, new combos, new setups before the new um, season starts. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at what these cards look like. Right, so I'm over here at Axie Tech's website, Card Tool Explorer. And the reason why I do that is because they have actually put their cards into system, into certain buckets. Like these cards to my left are all S tier cards, the best cards in the game according to them right now. To show you which actually got the balance changes and guess what? It is these cards, all eight of these S tier cards got balance changes. Let's take a look at how they were balanced. Arco will now be 100 attack and 45 shield, so decreases 5 shield. And the biggest change will be the text will read that it will have to be comboed with another card in order to gain the speed buff. A really good change, it was absolutely necessary. I agree with it. Then you have Hair Dagger, it changes from 120 attack, 30 shield to 115 attack, 30 shield. I don't know if I necessarily agree. I think maybe 10 more damage, 110, 30 would have been a bit more balanced. Um, but yeah, doing it right, bringing it down a bit. Good job. Hero is also going down, 5 attack, not a big change, but good stuff. Twin Needle is also going down, 5 attack, which is actually much more massive than Heroic Rewards since the idea is that it attacks twice. So this is actually quite a big debuff, five attack off heroic wood. At the end of this video, I'll show what that actually looks like for its damage. Cactus is also going down five attack to 110 and 20, which yes, is necessary, good change. Hotbutt is going down 10 attack to 80, 50. I think it's an okay change, but that feels like a lot. Why only reduce Pickly Chap by five? but you're reducing hot bite by a whopping 10. Now for one of the biggest changes, Bone Sail is going down from 80-80 to 70 attack, 70 shield. And also they have fixed an error where if you play two Bone Sails, you only draw one card. So playing two Bone Sails will give you two cards if your shield is broken. I think the stat changes are good. The card draw mechanic plus the actual value of the stats was over empowered. I think this is a good change. Karastis or Surprise Invasion is going down from 9060 to 8060. Now this change I'm not 100% sure of because the idea is usually if I build an Axie at high level that uses this, I pretty much try and make that Axie as slow as possible to make this work. So I'm giving up a lot of speed for that extra damage. Bringing on the damage, it will make me not do that as much anymore, but I did agree you know, it's a phenomenal stats, 9060. Now let's jump into the A tier list cards that did get a nerf or a buff. Uh, the double anemones, they basically both went down instead of 8035 to 7030. So good debuff. I agree. You need less stats on those cards. Well done. Juggling Balls received no nerf or buff, which I'm actually quite a bit surprised about, but they did ch say they changed the way that skill influences damage. And I'll show you at the end of this how that would look like and how that's actually going to work. So juggling balls might be doing less damage now. Keep that in mind. Pokey aka Sugar Rush got a nerf from 125 damage down to 120. Um, it was quite overpowering in double bug teams. So I'm glad for the change. Um, yeah, should be good. Balloon Pop, no change. Eggshell got a debuff. It went down from 120 attack to 110 attack, zero shield. Um, I'm not really happy with it, but I 
can understand they want to make it less overpowering. Egg Bomb is one of the stronger cards in the game, specifically in the hands of a good player. So I get it, but I didn't like it. This card bugs actually got a massive nerf. Instead of randomly discarding one card from your enemy's hand, it has to be comboed with another card to achieve this. And the same happens for the move Parasite, which I'll get to in a second. Papai did get a little bit of nerf. Down from 70 damage to 65. Biden's actually did get a little bit of a nerf. It's now down to 45 shield instead of 50. I think that's a good one. Uh, Biden's was very strong. Next up, Zigzag got actually a quite a big nerf in my opinion. It went down from 60, 60 to 55, 55. 55 deck, 55 shield. I think that's quite a big change. Um, I don't know if Zigzag was necessarily that overpowered, but I kind of get it, so yeah. It is, it is strong, it's being played at the higher levels more often than serious. Now getting into the B tier card list and see maybe more nerfs that's happening, but maybe still some debuffs, okay? The first buff is this Hermit or Shelter card, it's now 120 shield, that's basically it. Oranda actually got a debuff, it is now 110 attack and 25 shield, so debuff for Eros Bane, which I don't really get. Risky Fish got a slight buff with two, five shield being added. So it's now 105 attack, 25 shield. Shrimp got a debuff. It is now is now 25 attack and 30 shield. Sponge actually got a massive buff for me. It is now 70 attack, 95 shield, but they have changed one of its mechanics, a, a kind of like a faulting mechanic, but basically the apply attack plus once if this shield breaks only happens once per turn now. So people were playing, um, Bumpy and um, Shipwreck together to get five attack pluses in a row. So the shield would break, they'd gain a bit of shield. The shield would break, they'd gain shield, etc. etc. They've changed that, it can only apply once in a turn. Cuckoo is getting a five shield buff, so it's now 35 shield. Dark Soup is now getting a slight debuff, it is going down to 10 attack only. So I'm not 100% sure about that. The attack didn't matter really anyway um, when using it. Maybe for bird versus bird, it changes the fact that a pure bird can take out another pure bird with just dark soup and two other abilities. I think the damage actually makes that much of a difference. So this is actually a big change. Um, interesting, interesting at least. Uh, I think it's good. Winghorn got a stat change, not necessarily a debuff, but it went from 50 attack, 10 shield to 40 attack, 20 shield. Um, I think I'm okay with that change. Fishnack lost 10 shield to 60, 80. I think quite necessary. Double bug, bug, the squad bug's got a massive, massive nerf this uh, season. Parasite, as I've said, no stat changes, but it reads the same as Pinsir, where it has to be comboed with another card to actually randomly discard the card. Grass Snake got a nerf, 20 attack, 30 shield down to 20 attack, 20 shield. I think it's necessary, I think it's good. Good uh, stat change. Little Branch didn't get a stat change, but it's finally fixed its text. It is now read increased critical chance by 20% if comboed with two other plant cards. So that has finally been fixed. Rice got a buff to 90 attack, 20 shield. To 90 attack, 20 shield. Not 100% why. This card was strong for me anyway, but that is massive uh, changes. That is quite a bit bigger change. I think this is going to be one of the strong cards this season. Cupid got a 10 shield buff, so it's now 120 attack, 30 shield. Hungry Bird got a stat change to 120 attack and 30 shield. So balancing it out a bit more, I think it's important. I think it's good because Hungry Bird was lacking and no one really played it just because of its low attack. Trump got a buff, 5 attack more, so it's 125 attack, 30 shield. Uh, which is quite good. I think we might see some people trying to take advantage of that and play Trump teams now which should be very interesting. Graveland finally got a debuff, um, although it is not necessarily the one we really want, but it is now disable targets, melee cards next turn when this card is comboed with another card. Just making it a little bit more difficult to play. It's not really gonna change the system of that last Axie, just making sure that you can't play anything. Um, but it might make it a little bit more difficult. Lagging got a 5 attack buff, I think that's quite good, it's necessary. Gila got a buff, 10 more shield, 100 attack, 65 shield. That is a very strong card in my opinion, I always thought this was, the stats were really good, 155 total, now it's 165. I think tail is probably one of your most competitive slots, um, that's why they're trying to buff it, because the ability on it is quite weak, 
uh, relatively weak. So it has massive stats. That's interesting. Tiny Dino got a five attack increase, uh, which is really interesting. Uh, it's an interesting mechanic. It's the only one of its kind where damage will increase after round four or where anything will basically happen when it becomes uh, late in the game. Um, it was strong on its own, the five attack. It just makes it more interesting to play, I believe. Not overpowered yet, so it's a good change. Um, and obviously that five attack becomes much more with the 150% attack. So. Interesting, cool change. Sneaky Raid got a debuff, 20 attack, 30 shield. Now we're getting into the cards that were considered trash in the previous um, season. Let's look at how they changed and how they changed for good. They gave Catfish 10 more attack, um, which is actually a much bigger buff than just the attack because remember, this actually heals by the amount inflicted damage inflicted by this card. Uh, does it make it a playable card? I think so. I think it bumps it up a tier at least. Um, I think we might see more Swallow because the mouth is one of the most difficult uh, card parts. Um, it might actually make it a good card now. Let's see. And finally, Star Shuriken got a buff again to all those double Aqua plant players. Uh, it's now 115 attack, 15 shield. So 5 attack more, 5 shield more. Um, I think it's still not one of the best cards at the moment, but it just makes it a little bit better. I'm not 100% sure if it will make the card good again, but... Um, it's a step in the right direction at least. Imp got a 10 attack buff. This is one I don't really understand. Imp wasn't an underpowered card for me in this uh, meta. Um, so the 10 attack buff is purely just good. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure, but good, good on you, Imp. Timber got a 10 attack buff to 90 attack, 80 shield. Very interesting. Um, does it make it playable? I don't think that was really the problem with Timber. Um, but let's see if more people try it now. Cloud was a card that got absolutely no play, basically. Um, and they've made the change of 110 attack, 50, 40 shield. So increased attack, decrease shield. I don't think we'll see it still. Raven has a very interesting ability to apply Jinx so that other cards can't critical strike and it's finally got a buff because I always thought this was actually a bit of an underpowered card. The ability is cool but doesn't do enough damage on the bird especially. So it now does 120 damage, 30 shield. Great change. I think we see the comeback of the Raven. Caterpillar's actually got a quite big buff. It got quite a big buff. It's 110 attack now and 60 shield. Um, its ability is actually underpowered or it doesn't, no, it's not underpowered, it's it's kind of useless most of the time because you, when you attack someone, the idea is to reduce or take away the shield. So by uh, applying fear to shield the target, you can only do that if you attack with Grub Surprise the first time, basically. So uh, the ability is still meh, but a really strong horn move right now, 110 attack, 60 shield. I think we'll see more Grub Surprise in this meta. Bamboo Clan got a bit of an upgrade, 80 attack, 80 shield, I like it, um, I think it's cool we might see a bit more bamboo. Potato Leaf also getting a buff, 80 attack, 80 shield, um, does a bit more damage at least now, I'm not sure, uh, since, it's a, uh, since it's a tail card I still don't think we'll really see anything and Aqua is not really that prevalent. Now for the lowest tier cards, let's see what happens. And most of them receive buffs, except for Tadpole, that stays the same. Gerbil does now 50 attack and 20 shield, so it's technically stronger than um, Winghorn right now. Um, interesting, but it's on a tail card, so I still don't expect it to see too much play, but at least they're trying to do something with it. They've completely switched it around, it will now be 80 attack, 50 shield. Does that mean we will see it in play a bit more? Um, I don't think so, and this poison meta is still gonna be very strong, otherwise I don't think so. Carrot Hammer got a much needed change, it was one of the weakest tail cards for your frontline plant, and they've buffed it with 10 attack, so it at least does 80 attack now. Uh, I still don't think it makes it the best of plant cards, but it's a little better at least. And now for the absolute biggest change yet. I think this is going to change the meta a little bit. I think, I really believe so. Silent Whisper, okay? This card was always pretty useless because you it only heals your front, the guy in front of you, right? But they've changed it so that 
it heals the front teammate, but if there's no front teammate, it heals itself for 120. So they brought down the 190 to 120, but now it is very similar to Strawberry Shortcake, where it heals the front or the back, except it's one, at one energy instead of two, important to know. Its stats stay the same, but the most important thing is it's a mouthpiece card. Mouth being some of your weakest cards, this is a massive change. I think some Silence Whispers are going to be very strong in the meta now. Uh, watch out for Silence Whispers on uh, mid laners or back laners specifically. It's, I think it will be massive. Some other cards I haven't mentioned that got changes. Confident is up from 0 attack 30 to 40 shield. Might see some play on it. And that's it for the balance changes everyone. But there's two more interesting things that changed. And the one I'll see what the actual effect of is soon, but basically the skill uh, change. So skill will have a different way of how it adds bonus damage. There's a different calculation to it right now, where there's the card damage multiplied by skill times 0 0.55 minus 12.5 divided by 100. Uh, I'm not sure. I have to do hardcore calculations to see how much it works. I'm going to play a game and let you know what the difference is. And then crit max, so they've only they've maxed crit damage to 200%, um, which is in any case in PvE, PvP, the max it can reach with dual strike, but it's actually more for PvE to make it a bit more difficult to play, um, which is interesting. Right, and now let's see the effect of juggling balls with the skill change that also used to do 54 attack against the bugs. But now let's see when uh, with the skill change how much it actually does per hit. Now it hits for only 47. So I think big changes to both juggling balls and twin tails because of the skill change, which was much needed.